Howdy. So this is part five. I'm not sure if this is gonna this is gonna be the last one. I think I'm kind of running out of stories now. Um so tonight I just did a bit of a bit of a look. Um we've recorded for um the glass table tonight. So <coughs> excuse me. It's gonna be going out on Halloween. So look out for that. We talk about different things to do with Halloween and we answer different questions. So yeah, check us out for that. So the last few stories I think I've got to tell you is um the first one. Me and my friend were sat in the living room where I live now and the living room door was closed and we heard like a, a bang and kind of a shuffle noise and we looked at each other and we thought hmm what was that so i went into the hallway to check and i've got like a lime green kind of like a cylinder shape big lampshade and it just fell off the light fitting even though it's one of those ones that you like you screw on the piece afterwards so i don't understand how it just fell off and then not only did it just fall off it was the other end of the hallway so because it's like round and flat you'd expect if it was going to fall off it would just fall and just stay in one position and I didn't realise that at first and then I thought that's weird it's fell off because it was screwed on and then I was like I was on a meet look where it is it was like the other end of the hallway so like how did it kind of just like fall off and end up at that end of the hallway it was strange and then another time at the old house um, I woke up and I thought I'd dreamt that the lad that I lived with was next to my bed taking stuff out of my little pedal bin that I had in the bedroom and doing some, something with the rubbish in there and I didn't understand like I thought to myself why, why is he doing that why is he in my room so I just went back to sleep and then I woke up in the morning and my rubbish bin was like one of them bins with an interior plastic section and that was next to the bin out of the bin and that then that reminded me what I thought had happened during the night so I thought well it must have been him then because I saw like a dark shape stood there taking taking my bin out so I said to him in the morning once I realized that I said why was you in my room last night taking like the inside of my bin out and putting it next to the bin what was the point in that and he was like I haven't been in your room and I was like well, I saw you and he was like that wasn't me and I was like well whatever I saw was some dark figure in my room taking the contents out of my bin and putting it next to my bin and it was like that when I woke up so like that was just unexplained and freaky and yes um food coloring is really good for making fake blood because it looks better than any fake blood because i find fake blood looks too orange too clear so using food coloring looks more realistic but it never dries and it gets in your fucking hair i'm trying to keep it out of my hair not very successfully so um another time i went and stopped at my brother's house he went away on holiday and <laughs> he needed me to house it and i housed that and i looked after his um two stepchildren so we was in the living room and the dog they had like a chihuahua and the dog just kept barking at this one corner i didn't understand because i didn't see anything <laughs> doesn't come off I didn't see anything and I couldn't understand why the dog kept barking at nothing so I was telling the dog shut up just ignored it and so then like a few hours later there was like um a box in that corner with the the kids toys in and then there was musical toys and they just started kind of like just playing as if like I thought well something's resting on something just making it like play a tune or something so I went over and checked the um the toy box but I couldn't find anything like leaning on something and I mentioned it to like one of the kids and they was like oh yeah that happens quite often 
I was like, okay. So the one night I was there, I I was trying to get to sleep and I could just hear like this bang, 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 bang on the wall. And it sounded like, um, cause I was in the back room and it sounded like it was in the front room on the, on the wall from the neighbor. So I was just thinking, fucking hell, like, I wonder if the neighbor's always this noisy. So when my brother got back, um, I said to him, is your neighbour like always noisy? And he was like, no, why? What do you mean? And I says, well, I could just like constantly hear like banging on the wall. And at one point I remember I was in the living room and I jumped because it sounded like someone got like the shutter from the garage and slammed it down. So I went and checked and there was nobody there and the garage like hadn't moved, the garage door hadn't been moved or anything. So I said this to him, and he's like, anyway, what neighbours are you talking about? I said, your neighbours next door that was banging on the wall, and he was like, um, we live in a detached house. Neighbours can't possibly bang on the wall, and I was like, what? I never even, I never even registered that the house was detached, because I, was just, I just went there and never thought about neighbours, and I was like, whoa. So what was that banging on the wall then? And... When I was there, I made the kids like their dinner and we were sat around the dinner table and then afterwards they wanted some crisps so I think we had like monster munch or something and there just appeared this monster munch in the middle of the table and I said to the kids, oh who, who's, who's dropped a crisp, whose is that one and the both was just like, it's not mine, it's not mine and you know kids, like normally they go, oh it's mine and they grab it and eat it and they were both like that's not my crisp, right? I didn't put it there, and I was like, one of you did, and they were both adamant, like, no, I've not put that there, and I was like, okay, that's a bit strange. And then the girl just said to me, oh, I'm really cold, I need to go and get my card again. I was thought nothing of it, so okay, fine. And then, literally, like, she got back, and she sat back at the table, and about two minutes later, my arms just felt like they were ice. And I felt like the hairs, hairs on my arm start to like stick up and like I just felt like so cold. And I just looked at her because I thought she was exaggerating. So I looked at her and I said, was it your arms that went like really cold first, like freezing? She was like, yeah. And I was like, whoa, I just felt that myself. And it was just weird how I thought she was just like... It, exaggerating and then it happened to me and I just was just like so just like this cold freezing came over me so then when my brother came back I was like dude there's definitely something in your house like the weird things that have just been going on and the feelings that we'd had and that but I think that's all I think that's all so far that I've um I think I'm going to tell you. People will, will probably remind me of more because like, I'd forgot about the lampshade and then Lisa mentioned that. Um, and I know the dude who lived next door to me in my old house said he's got stories. So I might do another one if he wants to come on and tell his story because he'd hear things and then I'd speak to him. I'd be like, what? what's that? Like, I kept hearing like as if someone was dropping marbles on a wooden floor and they were rolling. But it sounded like it was coming from next door. And I said to him, what What do you do in your house that makes that noise? Because I can't work it out. I thought you got sliding doors on a wardrobe or something. And he was like, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. And I think he thought the noise was me because he said he heard the noise. So strange. Anyway, I'm going to fuck off. I hope you've enjoyed my stories. I hope you've enjoyed my um, makeup. I've enjoyed doing it because um, some of you probably know being brought, bring, uh, get my words out. I blame the rum. If you haven't tried Bakewell, is it Bakewell? Bakewell cake? No, uh, Battenberg cake. If you haven't tried Battenberg cake rum, you need to try it. I wasn't too sure at first, but it's amazing.
And now I've completely forgot what I was saying. So yeah, if you've got any um, cool spooky stories, let me know. Tell me. If you want to come on a live with me, I'm willing to do more of these. And we can like discuss your um, stories. So that's what I was saying, I think. Um, so we, he, uh, the guy who used to live next door might come on and uh, chat with me about stuff that he heard. Weird things that happened. So... I'll speak to you later. Bye.